Today we're talking about a set that would fit right at home on a farm. You ever been to a farm, TK? I've been to a moisture farm on Tatooine. Oh yeah? How was it? A little smoky if I'm being honest. Like there was a barbecue? Yeah, like a barbecue. Sounds nice. Howdy y'all, I'm Josh, this is Josh Build Stuff, and today we're going down to where the deer and the antelope roam, or a farm, or a prairie, or whatever it is that the American Dream had in mind when they built the tractor, because today we're talking about the Lego City Tractor set. That's the entire name, Tractor. This is set number 60287, contains 144 pieces and only costs 20 bucks. Now I know what you might be thinking, Josh, this set doesn't seem like your typical build and you would be correct for the most part, but this set has something that no LEGO Star Wars set has ever given us before, and that is a little molded LEGO bunny rabbit. That is, in more ways than you may realize, not actually a joke. I'm actually quite attached to this little bunny rabbit, but I will give you more reasons on why I bought this kind of out of the ordinary set, as well as my likes and dislikes and recommendations about this set right after we build it. The build for this set was not surprising in the least. It took like a half hour at most to do, but I was taking my time. There's nothing special about it, nothing surprising about it. You build a little tractor out of a little bit of Lego pieces. There are very few Technic pieces involved in building the big uh, bucket piece of this set. Otherwise, it's just a tractor built out of Lego. What you see is what you build. Let me tell you a couple of reasons why I bought this little tractor set. One, I live in the great state of Texas, and so I must support every agricultural effort that I can, and I can only assume that some portion of all of the proceeds from all of the sales of this set in this state must go towards supporting farmers in America or the FFA or something like that, and so by buying this set, I'm helping farmers feed America. Two, I have recently started replaying Stardew Valley, the video game. It's about farming, and so right now I'm kind of just all about that farming aesthetic. And so seeing the little Lego pumpkins here only reminds me of making pumpkin soup in that game because that recipe increases your luck, so I have a greater chance of making it to level 100 of the Skull Caverns in the desert because that's a challenge that I have to do for key quests because eventually if I get enough key gems from that guy, then I will be able to afford the horse flute and on and on. Hopefully that's not spoilers for 1.5, but man, that game is addicting. And three, maybe the realest reason, I'm kind of strapped for content at this point. There aren't many new sets relating to IPs that I'm a fan of that are out right now, and new sets don't come out until March for Star Wars and Marvel sets, and so I was kind of at the store just looking for something else that I could get for under 20 bucks that I might enjoy having. So honestly, I let my three-year-old pick what the next set was that we were going to buy, and three-year-olds, big surprise, they like tractors. So here we are talking about a Lego tractor. So let's talk about this Lego tractor. Like I said earlier, I do not have a large Lego cityscape where it would have a little farm section where this tractor would look right at home. If you do in fact have a large city display and that large city has some portion dedicated to farmland, then I think this tractor would look right at home. It looks nice enough as far as I can assess for a tractor. It's got a little bit of articulation in the actual uh, bucket piece there. It is not uh, controlled by a gear or a separate like boom arm like the recent forklift set that we talked about in our longer Technic video, but this is kind of a nice example of how some Technic pieces can be integrated into other regular Lego sets. Uh, however, I do wish there was like a gear turny piece that would let this uh, bucket be raised and lowered in that sense, but yeah, I think it's fine for what it is that it has to be manually moved because it is only a $20 set. Otherwise, there isn't some hidden set of features in this tractor. What you see is what you get. It looks nice enough. It is instantly recognizable as a tractor. It is a bright, vibrant red color. There is a little blue in there, so I guess you could say that this is Spider-Man's tractor if you were feeling brave on this particular day. There's also a little trailer hitch on the back or a little ball joint that I guess you could click a trailer into. There's also some little Technic piece in the front that you could also hook something up to the front of. So I assume this tractor could be used as sort of a modular vehicle. However, none of those attachments are included in this set at this time. But do you want to know an honest sort of fourth reason why I bought this set? It's because it comes with this little Lego molded bunny rabbit. I don't actually think I own a bunny rabbit that uh, matches this look and description in this particular mold. And I uh, kind of have a secret quest that I want to buy as many Lego sets that contain 
molded animals or creatures as possible, maybe excluding dinosaurs because the Jurassic World Jurassic Park sets tend to be a little expensive, but in any case, I like little molded Lego creatures, and this bunny rabbit is one that I do not yet own, so check that off for my collection. Besides the tractor and the bunny rabbit, we get a couple of farm accessories, I'm going to call them. We get a couple of little crates, which I think use some of those new, like, two-by-two two kind of ridged pieces. I don't know the official name for them, but I think those are newer pieces as far as Lego pieces go. We also get a little crate of Lego crops. Uh, we get a couple of carrots in there. There's a single pumpkin as well as an apple, which is also a custom molded piece. Two minifigures also come with this set. There is a little farmer dude. There is also a little uh, shorter farmer female figure, which I guess I'm going to assume is the farmer's daughter in this case. Though this minifigure does not look anything like the farmer's daughter as I've heard described in country songs when I listened to them in the mid to late 2000s when I was driving around in my Volvo delivering pizza going through my country music phase. What I'm saying is this is just a small generic female farmer minifigure. Also included here is a little farm dude who, for some reason, I feel some sort of connection or kinship to. Have you ever heard the term sig fig? I think it means like signature minifigure, where you find a minifigure that represents yourself. And I, as of yet, have yet to find a minifigure that I really connect with. And then comes along this little farming dude, and he's got kind of scraggly, scruffy brunette hair. He's got a little bit of scruff on the face. He's wearing a red plaid shirt. And I tell you what, I'm about five minutes from hitting up the local Walmart to get myself some green overalls because that's a pretty good aesthetic if I do say so myself. So maybe I have just found myself a sig fig and maybe it's time for me to buy a tractor. So all this being said, would I recommend this set to a friend or colleague? Nah, not if you're an adult. Not unless you have a big Lego city setup that has some farmland designated then maybe this tractor would make a good fit. As for me, I bought the set, like I said, because my kid said I should buy this set. So my kids will get a lot of fun use and play out of this little tractor. As an adult, this is a placeholder, a filler, until new Star Wars and, I guess, Spider-Man, maybe Marvel sets come out in early March. And then uh, I will be happy. But until then, we're building tractors, I guess. There's also some slight chance that this video was a test to try out some 60 frames per second video instead of the usual 30. See if we can't up things in quality around here. So let me know what you think about the quality of this video. If it's any different to you or if you haven't even noticed, let me know what you think about this little tractor Lego set. If you think negatively about it, uh, it's understandable. It's just a tractor. I don't expect this to be like some crazy popular video, but hey, new Lego Star Wars sets come out in a couple of days, so stick around for more of those. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, y'all.